This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Father, as we journey down this Advent road, where we light the candle of hope and we light the candle of peace, grant us the courage to make peace, peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, and peace in our communities. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And with your spirit. Patuloy na ang ating simbahan, isinisigaw ang maran atha. Come, Lord Jesus. Sapagat ang aming mundo'y nangangailangan ng iyong diwanag, ng iyong kapayapaan, ng iyong kapatawaran. For those moments when we close our hearts to Him, who is the reason of our Christmas celebration, we ask the Lord's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now pray. Almighty and merciful God, May no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us an admittance to His company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The prophet Beirut pictures Jerusalem as a mother longing to gather her children from exile. Jerusalem is invited to stop mourning because God will make her children return to her. It is with the same joyful anticipation that we must prepare for Christ's coming among us. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, 
bear on your head and mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children, gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring, bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the aids all depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forest and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Apostle Paul encourages the Christians of Philippi to be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. The Christian faith lived in joy and faithfulness is the best preparation for Christ's coming. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias was tetrarch of Abilene during the high priesthood of Anas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding road shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sinasabing ang mga Pilipino ang may pinakamahabang pagdiriwang ng Pasko. Paulit-ulit na nating sinasabi yan. Ang dating ng Pasko sa bawat Pilipino ay iba. For which reason, napakarami po ang patuloy na umuwi pag panahon ng Pasko makasala malamang ang pamilya at makapagdiriwang dito sa ating bansa. But even as we enter into the Christmas season, kaagad, feel natin yung mag-decorate. Ako nga, nung ako'y umuwi sa bahay a couple of weeks ago, nagpalagay na ako ng dekorasyon. 
kakapunta lang namin sa sementeryo o pag uwi sa bahay, may dekorasyon na kaagad. Yun ay araw pa lamang pagkatapos, mga tatlong araw pagkatapos ng undas. At ang plano ko, hindi pa tatanggal yung Christmas decoration hanggang pagdating ng February. Mga kapatid, totoo ang mga Pilipino sa puso natin yung tuwa at saya ng Pasko. For which reason, even abroad, lalo na sa Amerika, nako pagdating ng Pasko, nagniningningan ng mga dekorasyon, blaring ang mga music for Christmas, at lahat naghahandang gumayak para sa araw ng Kapaskuhan. And of course, lahat ng klase at tipo ng dekorasyon, iyon ang makikita. And of course, merong isang personality na pag wala siya, parang walang Christmas. Ito po'y si Santa Claus. Alam niyo nag-research po ako kung sino po si Santa Claus. And daan doon sa aking pagbabasa, si Santa Claus po pala ay ipinanganak na isang Greek. Si Nikolaos, ang kanya pong pamilya ay Greek. Ngunit ang tatay at nanay ay namatay dahil sa isang sa isang plague na nangyari sa kanilang bayan at siya po'y inalagaan ng isang uncle who is actually a bishop. Noong maliit pa lamang siya sa murang kagulang, nagpakita na si, si Nicolaus nung sinasabing tulong sa iba. He was a man who always searched for ways to be able to give. He would prepare gifts for other people. And so, nang namatay po yung kanyang uncle, he was made the Bishop of Myra, which now is the place in Turkey. Nangyari po ito mga 300 years after the death of Jesus. But yet, immediately, sa kabila lang siya'y obispo na, si Nicolaus was very close to his people as he would prepare gifts every now and then. May mga kwento nga na minsan sa isang pamilya, yung tatay, even as her three, his three daughters were growing up, namumroblema siya. Bakit? Sa kultura nila, Pag ang iyong anak na babae pinakakasal mo, ang tatay ng babae ang magbibigay ng dory doon sa pakakasalang lalaki. Ay e tatlo yung anak. Nag-iisip ang tatay, wala akong pamimigay. Wala akong dory na isasabay doon sa aking mga anak upang sila'y pwedeng pakasalan. Kaya nag-iisip siya, kawawa naman yung aking mga anak. Ay e baka ito hindi na makapag-asawa sapagat wala akong pwedeng ipamigay para sa dori nila. Narinig po ito ng obispo. At nung isang anak ay malapit ng dumating doon sa gulang, pasinti po siyang pumunta doon sa bahay, tinignan kung saan yung kwarto ng babae, at nagtapon ng isang supot na gold sa loob. Tuwang-tuwa ang tatay na malamang may pera na sila na ipakasal yung unang anak. Nang dumating din sa gold, gulang yung ikalawa, ganun din uli ginawa nitong ubispong ito, si Bishop Nicolas. Nung ikalawa, nagdududa na yung tatay. Ang sabi niya, parang may namimigay na iba. Kaya ang ginawa ng tatay, nung birthday na nung anak at tamang gulang, nagbantay na. Natunugan din naman ng ubispo. Ang ginawa, umakyat ngayon sa chimney. At doon, inihulog yung supot. Kaya lang, yung anak na babae pala, ay naglalabada, ay umuulan, ang ginawa, yung stocking na kanyang nilabhan, inilagay malapit doon sa apoy. Doon nag-shoot yung supot na gold. Yun ang pinagmulan sa nila kung bakit ngayon ang mga iba'y naglalagay ng medyas para lagyan ng gift mula kay Santa Claus. My dear friends, he was known to be the patron of Russia. He was known also to be the patron of small children. He was also known to be the patron of marriageable women. Kaya yung mga wala pang asawa na babae, pwede kayo magdasal kay Santa Claus. <laughs> Sapagat siya ay obispo, every time he was depicted sa kanyang mga painting, syempre meron siyang suot na pula. Sa ibang lugar nang dinala ang kanyang mga bones sa Germany, there he was called Chris Kringle, which actually means the little child because mahilig siya na tumulong sa mga bata at patron ng mga bata. But more than that, nang ito pong kanyang devotion ay dumating sa sinasabing sa sa sa, 
sa Holland, ang tawag po sa kanya roon ay Sinterklaes na naging Santa Claus. Nang dumating siya sa Amerika, mayroon pong sumulat tungkol sa kanya. Itong si Clement Moore wrote The Night Before Christmas at tiniscribe na itong si Santa Claus ay makapal ang kanyang balbas, ngunit kalbo na, at malaki ang kanyang tiyan, at marami siyang palaging regalong dala. When finally, itong si Thomas Nat, na siyang isang Republican, na siya isang political cartoonist ng Amerika, siya po yung gumawa ng, ng mascot ng mga Republicans. Ang mascot ng mga Republicans ay elephant. Ang mascot ng mga Democrats naman ay donkey. Siya po ang unang nag-draw kay Santa Claus with a long, long beard and with a round, round belly. Nang lumabas ang isang advertisement ng Coca-Cola Company noong mga around 1823, inilabas po nila itong si Santa Claus, ganun na nga, nakapula, may belt, ang laki ng tiyan, may balbas, at nakahawak ng coke. My dear friends, That was the beginning of what you call Santa Claus as advertisement. Ngayon, natutuwa kayo. Walang Christmas sa Amerika at sa mga American influence na mga bansa na wala si Santa Claus sa araw, sa panahon ng Christmas. Ito lang ang nakakalungkot. Na sa Amerika, sa mall, pwede ka maglagay ng Santa Claus. Sa harapan ng bahay mo, pwede ka maglagay ng Santa Claus. Sa entrance ng village, pwede ka maglagay ng Santa Claus. Sa kahit saang lugar, pwede ka mag-advertise na kasama si Santa Claus. Pero, wag kang magkakamali na isama si Kristo sa mga bagay na iyan. Ipinagbabawal sa mga subdivisions na sa harapan ng kanilang bahay, maglagay ng bilen kung saan andun ang Kristo. ipinagbabawal sa kanila mga advertisement sa malalaking mga kung ano-anong mga tarpulin na isama si Kristo. Ipinagbabawal kahit saan man sa mga mall na mayroong Kristo sa isang krib. Basta ipinagbabawal kasi nakaka-offend ka sa relihiyon ng iba. Nakakalungkot. Mas kilala si Santa Claus kaysa sa kadahilanan ng ating Christmas. Mas ipinagbabawal ang reason ng ating selebrasyon kaysa sa Santa Claus na walang ginawa kundi ituro etong Kristo at siyang kadahilanan kung bakit siyang mapagbigay. My dear friends, sobra kong ikinatuwa nang tumawag po sa akin si Malu Rodriguez. Siya po ay na, na, naging asawa ni, ni Oscar Rodriguez Napakapatid po niya, Pepito at Ramil Rodriguez, yung ating pong mga artista. Tumawag at ang sabay, Father, may gift akong ipapadala. Father, sasabing ko na sa'yo, nang una ko makita to, sobra akong ikinatuwa. Nang pumasok ako sa isang store, problema, wala akong pera. Ang sabi ko, babalikan ko. Pagbalik ko po, Father, wala na po. Ilang taon akong nagantay na sana one day I would be able to have it. Until my son called and said, Mommy, I found it. Nagpabili po ako ng sampo. Father, gusto po ba ninyo ng isa? Sige ka po, ipadala mo. My dear friends, pinadala po sa akin at sobra kong ikinatuwa. Andito ngayon sa ating altar, papakita ko sa inyo. Kamera, i-focus mo. Andiyan si Santa Claus na naanatiling napakalaking mama. Nandyan yung kanyang balbas, nandyan yung damit niyang pula, nandyan yung kanyang kap. Nandyan ang lahat ng pwedeng dalhin ng isang Santa Claus. Pero tignan nyo, sa harapan ng ninyo Jesus, siya'y nakaluhod, sobrang tuwang-tuwa, nakatanggal ang kanyang kap. and looks at the child with all the reverence that the baby deserves. What is he telling us? Hindi ako ang Christmas. Hindi ako ang kadahilanan ng inyong pagdiriwang. Andito nga ako, kasama ng inyong mga Christmas tree, kasama ng inyong mga palamuti, kasama ng mga pagkaing masasarap, kasama ng mga tugtuging pamasko. 
But all of us are here because of a greater reason, the real reason for our celebration, the child in the manger. Kaya tuwang-tuwa ako na makita ko, sabi ko, perfect, beautiful thing to remind us what Christmas is all about. Ipapasa ko to sa inyo para makita nyo na mas close up. Huwag niyong bibitawan, huwag niyong iuuwi. Akin to. <laughs> so, Pipito, alika nga, lapit ka na, kunin mo na. Kunin mo na nga eh, now na. Brothers and sisters, Christmas is always a moment of gift giving. Christmas is almost always a moment when we receive gifts. Because even, you know, si, 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 sa Santa Claus, whose feast is on December 6, brings us to that moment when we can receive gifts. It is a season of gift giving. Pero sana, wag lamang po tayo mapako. Doon sa kailangan akong tumanggap. Kailangan ako na sa pag-upo ko sa, 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 on the lap of Santa Claus at ibulong ko sa kanya ang gusto ko. Dapat aking matanggap yan. Christmas is not really just a moment of receiving. The real joy of Christmas is in the giving. When Jesus comes to us, He comes to us as, as a person who says, there is joy in giving. There is joy in knowing you have become a gift to somebody. My dear friends, Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Christmas is not just about receiving. Christmas firstly is indeed receiving the gift of Jesus, but at the same time being challenged to be a gift to others. Mga kapatid, ang mga balita pong ating natatanggap mula sa ating mga napinsalang mga kapatid sa, sa, sa Mindanao is terrible. Alam niyo, totoo yung sinasabi nila. Hindi nagkamali ang pag-asa na andun nakatutok ang lahat. Hindi nga lang talaga sina, sa, sila sanay sa bagyo, sa area ng iyon. Kaya even as they were prepared at talagang ang iba nang evacuate po at napunta sa isang school, hindi nila alam na hindi rin pala kakayanan nung inaakala nilang malakas na poste, maayos na bahay, na ito'y magiging safe refuge and shelter para sa kanila. Sa isa pong barangay, nagpunta po sila sa isang paaralan. Ito yung pinakatibay sa lahat ng pwede nilang mapuntahan. Pati ho yun, tinangay. In that school alone, 28 ang patay. Ang mga patay patuloy pa pong tumataas Walo sumabot na sa 500 at ang mga missing ay mga 300 pa. Ngayon may mga nag-text na mga kamilyan fathers at sinasabi po nila, nakakalunos, naka, talagang the, the heartbreaking is the word. Why? The children have nowhere to go. Some of them have lost their parents. Andun lamang sila sa daang nakatunganga. Walang tubig na maayos, walang makain, walang pampalit. Today, the Lord is challenging us to make more meaningful Christmas by not just making it simply a season of receiving, but truly like Santa Claus, like the Bishop Nicholas of Myra, we become a source of joy for others by reaching out and giving. Mahirap pong ipadala ang kahit anong mga gamit, kaya nag po tayo na sa misa pong ito, ang lahat po ng ating koleksyon ay ating pong ibibigay para maging tulong kahit konti man sa mga nasalanta nitong Bagyong Pablo. My dear friends, uulitin ko, hindi naman titignan ni Lord kung gaano kalaki ang iyong ilalabas sa iyong pitaka upang ibigay. Ang titignan niya kung ano ang iiwan mo sa iyong pitaka at bag sa araw na ito. Hindi titignan ni Lord kung gaano kalaki ang iyong ilalabas. Ang titignan niya ay ang isang puso na katulad ni Santa Claus ay nais magbigay ng tuwa para sa ibang tunay na nangangailangan. Today, let's begin our true Christmas celebration by looking at the child Jesus and knowing 
na ang Diyos ama nang siya ay magdesisyong magbigay, hindi nagbigay ng extra patapon, pinaglumaan. Ang binigay niya ay pinaka sa lahat ang kanyang nag-iisang anak. Let's ask si San Nicolas, si Santa Claus, si Chris Kringle, si Center Clays na sana ituro sa atin na mas may tunay na tuwa sa isang nagbibigay kaysa sa isang tumatanggap. In the end, this is the true meaning of Christmas. We look to the child, the gift of the Father to us. We feel the challenge to be a gift to others as well. Amen. Tayo po'y magsitayo. Ibalik lamang po ang aking statuwa. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us hearken to John the Baptist's cry to prepare the way of the Lord, and expectant longing and joy for the Master's coming, we pray, make us ready for you, Lord. Make us ready for you, Lord. May the Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, bishops, priests, consecrated men and women, and lay leaders serve as faithful heralds of God's designs, even in cases when they become lonely voices in the desert, we pray. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for you, Lord. Lord. May political leaders fill the valleys of corruption, level the mountains of self-serving interests, and smoothen the rough ways of despotism so that they may prepare the way of the Lord, we pray. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for you, Lord. Lord. May those who are afraid of the future or burdened by daily cares put aside their sorrow and distress and hope in God who banishes all fears, we pray. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for you, Lord. May all of us here present heed God's call to a change of heart and be prayerful and vigilant to recognize Christ as he comes to encounter us in our daily life, we pray. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for you, Lord. May the Lord give comfort to the dying and welcome to the joy of paradise the souls of the faithful departed, we pray. Make us ready for you, Lord. That we may understand, Lord, that as we look at Jesus in the manger and understand the gift of this incredible God to us, his very own self. And as we hear Saint Tanta Claus telling us about the season of giving, hindi pala yung kami ang tatanggap, kundi na kami ang magiging mapagbigay sa iba. Cleanse our hearts today of selfish interest that we may give meaning to the true Christmas season by becoming your gifts to others through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being presented.
I do my dear friends at your sacrifice and mine be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him. With love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with all the angels and archangels, with all the thrones and dominations, and with all the hosts of powers and, and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory 
of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, with our Bishop Luis Antonio and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamakita ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan kasama na Espiritu Santo Magpasawalang hanggang We pray to the Father to be grateful for the things that we have already received and to feel we, we are blessed so that we can also become His blessings for others. We pray the Our Father. Huwag nating palampasin ang Paskong ito without becoming a gift to others, without giving the joy that we have in our hearts to others. is the grand peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to now our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We bless one another with the gift of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. This is Jesus, the reason of our celebration, the one whom we long for, the one we welcome into our hearts. Happy are we who come to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive him. Amen. Amen. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
at tayo po'y manalangin. Replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Gusto ko ulitin niyo itong mga katagang ito. Napakalaga. Contentment. Contentment. Para hindi nyo narinig. Uulitin natin ulit. Contentment. Contentment is not having what you want. Contentment is not having what you want. It is the realization, It is the realization. of how much you already have. Of how much you already have. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. And count them slow. And count them slow. Gets nyo? na kung talagang bibilangin lamang natin ang blessings na mayroon tayo at ang iba'y wala, ang dami nating dapat ipagpapasalamat. As we look with pain in our hearts to our brothers and sisters down south who had to go through all of this terrible tragedy, alalahanin nyo, palapit na ang Christmas. There is going to be so much challenge for them to enjoy Christmas despite of not having homes, despite of having lost a lot of loved ones, despite of knowing na ang kinabukasan ay sobrang napakalabo. Let's ask the Lord today to bless them. Let's ask the Lord to bless us that we may have hearts that desire to be gifts of God to others. Let's ask Santa Claus to teach us the meaning of really being givers. Jesus. Kayo ang Diyos ng pagpapala. Kayo ang prinsipe ng kapayapaan. Kayo ang aming kaligtasan. Lord, we bring before you today all our brothers and sisters na nasa lanta ng bagyong Pablo. Ipadama niyo sa kanila ang iyong pagmamahal at pagkalinga. Jesus, iniiling po namin ipuin niyo sa inyong pagmamahal at pagpapagaling. Those who have been physically hurt, those who are now psychologically hurt, those who have lost hope, those who continue to mourn their loved ones, those who are afraid of their future, bless them, Lord. Bless them. Aming po sanang maunawaan na ang Pasko ay hindi lamang sa pagtanggap. That the real meaning of Christmas is to feel we are blessed and to desire to be your blessings for others. Basbasan niyo po ang lahat na sa kanilang mga puso'y magkaroon ng tunay na pagnanais na maging iyong biyaya at tuwa para sa iba. Lord, bless all those watching us on television that they may feel that Christmas is truly a season of giving and not just receiving. May Santa Claus tell us the joy of knowing He brings joy to others and that You, the Prince of Peace, has been the gift of a loving God to us. May we truly rejoice in Your birth O oh Jesus, the reason of our Christmas celebration. May your truth be born in our hearts on the day of your birth. Father, we have prayed not only for ourselves, but especially for those who need your touch of love. Touch them today and make them feel that you are the God of blessings. This is our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May mga kopya pa po tayo ng ating 365 Days with the Lord, available po sa labas, sa mga nais pa pong kumuha, at gusto ding ipamigay sa iba. We have been blessed. Go, become a blessing for Christmas for someone. Thanks be, be to God. God.
Oh